Uh, greetings, everyone. Um, Alpha Magnus here. Uh, as per usual, I'm uh, doing uh, something different again. Hey, look at that. So this time, uh, we know, know me this time because I want to be able to zoom in on this. Um, this was something important to me, and I wanted to get it complete on screen. I got my... Um, my Castle Grayskull, my Powers of Grayskull is what they're calling this, um, King Grayskull in. The heroic ancestor of He-Man. Uh, there's King Grayskull there. Uh, they're going with the Masterverse style. This came with Eternia, the Eternia Castle. Jesus, it's big. Um, this came with the Eternia Castle, so, uh... If you didn't pre-order that, uh, good luck on the aftermarket, guys. That's going to cost you a pretty penny. Uh, hey, look, it has a U, 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 uh, UPC for some reason. Now, that being said, that does not mean they are going to not release this in another way. They could still release uh, the uh, 2000X King Grayskull, who is a white dude. They could re-release this in different colors. Like, there's no laws. Uh, <laughs> there's no law against doing so. But this specific version... Um, wasn't even going to open this, but, uh, I, I did this. I wanted to make sure nothing was broken on him and I'm going to open him today. Um, because ta-da, <laughs> because they did the right thing. Way to go. Um, Mattel Here he is in box. There's the power of gray skull. I mean, it is his power of grace call. Uh, they made it with the collector friendly packaging. There's a back back shot. See everything exciting there. No UPC, of course, because that's on the outside of the box. But we got ourselves this. Now, uh, if you're unfamiliar with the collector friendly packaging, it's this. So I didn't even have to cut anything. And I can just take that out. We're just gonna leave that right there. And then he, to make sure those go back in, looks like that's like some sort of sliding mechanism, is right here. And I wanted to show you, because I've done this a few times, um, I wanted to show everybody how to uh, remove these figures without breaking the, um, the things back here. So first off, we're going to take this tape off. From the cape put it back on there so that we have it for later if we decide to put it back in uh i'm probably going to be displaying him with this uh in my eternia that video is coming soon i'm doing something a little different because i have a feeling that there's going to be a million well i'm going to do a regular just unboxing video um but i feel like there's going to be a billion people why is the light so bad here my ring light that i have with my uh tripod here uh decided to take a take a death roll and uh yeah it's not no good no bueno all right let's find uh ugh, my trusty there they are so if you can use these these are okay the regular pliers I prefer to use these, and I don't know, they're just an angled plier. It makes life so much easier. Because it can get in here, and you don't have to, like, be straight on. So you can actually look at what you're doing. So what you're going to want to do is take this piece right here and push the other end through that hole. And just do that on each side. You just need to do it once. So, uh... Usually one of these is shorter than the other. That's usually the one that I do. There's two. Looks like he's only got four of these. So that's nice. So I've had some of these figures have like six. Push that through. What this does is it allows you to put this back in if you want to. And on this side, you just come right out. And uh, I will say this, do not use this to tell people that you never opened it. That is not what I'm telling you this for. Use my 
teaching is for good, not evil. Um, <clears throat> in there, he also had this uh, translucent. Okay, there, fall out. We're going to put this back into the box. I'm going to try to figure out how this goes back in here, too. I guess it just keeps them from warbling around. And then we're gonna slide this back into here. And then this is gonna go right back into his normal box. Um, so we don't misplace anything there. Let's leave this here for now. We're gonna try to Directed lights. I gotta figure something out. Uh, some better lighting situations here. All in all, he is just a basic figure. Um, different skin tone than usual, even with like Clamp Champ and whatnot. He's a little lighter. Uh, it is still based off of the original Origins book. He has the the. Man, I really need that ring light back. All right. Um. It's like a cream colored here, not so much that. Uh, and then he's, it looks like the plastic was cream colored and they just painted over it. Uh, could have done a little bit better of a job there. <laughs> and then this looks like a new chest piece. Uh, it could be the 2000X one they just reused, but I don't believe so. I think that looks a little different. I don't have that one around to take a look. He does have his normal, um, or his usual braids here, which even the 2000X version had uh, of him. And then these are just the cape and the fluff here. The art is just uh, Velcroed on. So you can actually pop that right there. Uh, same usual stuff they use for capes, nothing exciting. This end, this side's more fluffy than this side. But what we're going to do, since they got us this, this is actually from, um, we're going to test all of his ins and outs, because I want to make sure that this, and it'll be on video, if anything breaks, because I've heard some people had breakage on, uh, not on this figure, but on some other ones that were, I mean, this is like a, only I think 5,000 people got this out of all the people that did e pre-ordered Eternia. Um, I planned on making a custom version of it. No, I don't have to. Because <laughs> I think King Grace called the, the, the. Masterverse figure came with um, extra heads, and I was going to use some of those for that, but now I don't have to do that. All right. King Grayskull's here. He's looking good. No breaking, nothing there. Let's put him on his stand. So, since he comes with a clear sword, I decided mm, that was a little bent, but aside from that, it looks pretty good. Uh, comes, he comes with a clear sword, right? And I was like, he does have a spot to hold it back here. So that's cool. And he can pull the power of Gray Skull. And then this slides right back here, which is what I was hoping it would do. <laughs> Let's put him on this. little pose we're gonna zoom in zoom, 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 zoom. and there even these lights a little better and we're gonna bring this if 
you did not purchase one of the um, figures that came with this, I apologize. They're not going to be as easy as you would expect them to be. This is the sword, or sorry, the axe and um, shield from the Masters of the WWE Universe, John Cena. Let me go grab him so that you know which figure to look for. Um, but now I've got, in my opinion, the perfect version here. So I needed another, um, what do you call it? Another ring, another gray skull ring to do a, I made an Eternia ring. So this is the John Cena that comes with these. If you are looking to do that, he he uh, he comes with this as well. Uh, so both of these things. The, I have the other one of these on uh, the faker, the clear faker that came with uh, the series. The clear faker you could get separately, but this one was only available with the ring uh, in a two pack. Um, that I know of. I don't believe he was single carded ever. So good luck getting that. Uh, if you decide to purchase him to get these weapons, uh, you are more than welcome to <laughs> send me the, the John Cena because I use these for customs all the time. It's one of the rare ones where you can see how he's, he doesn't have boots. He's just got regular legs. They are discolored on the camera, which is weird, but you don't can't really tell in person. Um, but he also has shorts, which is cool. You don't usually see that. So uh, that is how you make the perfect King Grayskull here. Uh, in my opinion, the perfect King Grayskull. And I've got weapons galore here. Uh, the the translucency is a little bit different. But, like, barely. <laughs> it, is, it is definitely cool to have. Here, you know what? We'll, we'll put this back here. And then we'll give him his sword. And then this stand um, is the Ramen Toys um, PowerCon exclusive greatest stand in the universe. Uh, so that was well worth the purchase. I should have purchased more, honestly. Uh, Toy Stalker did have some of these up, but you can get the regular ones, the purple, the green, and the red anywhere right now. They got tons of them. This one was just a PowerCon exclusive. And... Um, Hopefully they make more. I mean, they're pretty cool. I have, I might be purchasing another either green or purple one to make a uh, Turtles of Grey Skull version. Uh, I'm gonna send Ace a message and see if he's gonna, planning on doing any other colors for those um, before I do that. But good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this review. King Grey Skull gets a thumbs up from me and uh, the custom version here. Now I gotta make a. Uh, what do you call it? A reel for this. Because uh, I know not everybody's going to want to watch a 15 minute video. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, comment. Till next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. These are toys.